Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we look at these swings as a total, okay, these two from the middle and the right are kind of your full wedges. Yeah. And everything, whether it be chipping, pitching, full wedge, four wood, five wood, three wood, anything at all, you've really, really got to focus on getting this lead hip more this way at setup, which will help the rotation on the way back and help you get that lead hip over the ball more as you come into him back. So that'll improve both your direction with the long game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If the hip can move towards target, our path will be more to this way. If the hip moves this way, your path will go around the corner to the left and you'll pull oh, okay. it. If you're using a lofted club, it becomes a high lofted scoop. So we lose yardage. Yeah. Okay. With a chip shot, it could become <clears throat> one of them unmentionables. Okay. Yeah, yeah. With a three or four wood, it's going to be a low pull to the left somewhere. Oh. Now, then, if we look at these sort of two, these middle ones and the right hand one now, I kind of compare the two. Okay showcasing kind of your impact the case you come back so takeaway was okay if we come back there is kind of your impact the ball is just getting a bit of a blur there and we can see your hands way back here behind the golf ball okay as i said we want the setup to be more of a straightish line there a little bit more hip movement towards target okay as we come back to golf ball the hip now is going to move so look at the lead hip now moving towards target there see so your lead hips move there's your impact yeah, look yeah. at the hands there yeah. on the golf balls. If we clear those two there, there's your two impact positions, okay? This one here now, frame afterwards, a little bit scoopy there. This one here, the frame after now, okay? There's a little bit more kind of Straight structure down. there yeah. as opposed to there and yeah. way forward, okay? As you then go through again with this one, your body's clearing nicely. This one here now, head's down a little bit too long. It's all a bit scooby. And then you're trying to play catch up with the lower half. And that's where your knees are a bit collapsed. They're trying to, they're trying to mm. almost catch up mm, with yeah, the top half. So it doesn't look as smooth and kind of as, as clean to the golf ball. And then through to the position. This was the chipping one, which again, same relevance with that lead hip, okay? Try to come into the golf ball now from six o'clock, okay? So what you were doing was you were tending to aim your body too far over here so your body was kind of standing like this with your feet aiming open so then yeah. your hips went left your shoulders went left yeah, everything and often left. your club face aimed left yeah, so right. where's the ball going to go it's going to go left unless then in your swing you try to you manipulate, manipulate it. It. and that manipulation is the recipe for disaster yeah, right. on a good day no when there's no whatsoever. pressure you can manipulate it okay yeah. when you've got under pressure or the consequence of what goes wrong, there is pressure, you don't manipulate well enough, and then the bad shots become. And that's when you either have a bit of a, a, a meltdown with one hole and the rest are already good because you're just trying to recover all the time, okay? So getting yourself set up and now, we're gonna watch this, and it, although this wasn't a bad shot, I wanna just show you here, and I go through nice and slowly, okay? So club down behind the ball first, getting that square, okay? Then gripping it. Now, if I go through this nice and slowly, you watch when you get your hips kind of going forward there. You see your shadow moving. This is good. Yeah. So that's where we just sort of start off there. Then you sort of shuffle back a little bit and then you bring that foot back. Now watch it when you turn your hips. Look, look at your hip moving there. See your hips. Look at the shadow yeah, on the ground. Yeah, yeah. See as you look towards target, how you open every your okay, shoulders. Yeah. And hit. Now, then when you come back to the golf ball, you don't really bring yourself back, back to square. To so when you're looking to touch, make sure you're just looking through your your head is not moving your whole chest and your hips only because we want to really get this lead hip now a little bit more in that direction. It's still a little bit more kind of stuck. I mean, the fact your right hip is kind of outside your right foot would indicate if I'm playing a chip shot here now, I'm there, right hip is okay. Yours is kind of yeah, that, oh, outside yeah. your right yeah. foot, yeah. We want to get it more over that right foot. This is, it was better, okay? But at least with the shoulders, generally square in the club face square as we come through there's impact okay even at this shot here now you can sort of see this everything's kind of moving a little bit round the corner, the corner left this way as opposed to this and the body moves more with the chip shots like a bit more this way as opposed to yeah right. turn. i think you're trying to get someone's body into it yeah yeah i get it that you start left and just swing left and then where do all your chips go? Your chips go left. And then, of course, they then are. you're trying to stop it go left by yeah, just so doing everything. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe aiming right when I two rows <laughs> making a right, which could work. Um, yeah, I've tried that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or manipulating the hands and arms, pushing them out in a way that's going to probably lead to Mr. Unmentionable. Okay, so all the setup and swing characteristics are based around that lead hip. Okay, get that lead hip a little bit more. Down. Towards target, target okay? Yeah. You've got to feel that when you're setting up to that golf ball, your left side, left shoulder, left hip are a little bit higher, yeah? yeah. If I stand with my arms level, 
Shoulders level, hips level, knees and feet are level, hands are level, okay? My right hand on the grip is lower than my left, so I'm doing that. Only a little bit, it'll feel a bit more to start with probably, but I only go in there and then grip. So my lead side is a bit more that way. The one club, which is major club, yeah, yeah. that we haven't mentioned yeah, yeah. about, is my driving. Yeah. And I which, drive, I'm, I'm straight. I'm yeah. dead straight all the time. And this will really? explain why, okay? If you're setting up now, there's the ball position for your Hello. pitching wedge, okay? Which is okay. Yeah. yeah. But as the ball position now okay. with the driver goes here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Being a bit behind the golf ball now with yeah, that yeah. hip yeah. isn't going to be such a big thing because what's going to yeah. create is going to create more of a upward launch. Sends well up in the air. And I think the yeah. fact the ball is on a tee peg, you're going to stand a bit more this way. You're not going to stand to a driver like this, are you? Okay. Yeah. Just wouldn't no, sit no, no, no. generally. You know you want to sweep okay? it more and push that. I don't back. feel that I've got much okay, movement then. in my body when I'm a yeah. driver. Yeah. You know, because I you stand to in a good stand yeah. still. I'll, you know, I'll get yeah. basic. But you're able to get around your body. You see, yeah. yeah. Get stand all the, you know. But you've almost got to try and almost have a, a mini version of that sort of driver setup yeah. with the shorter clubs and just again with every club in the bag. Unless you're Fitzpatrick gripping left below right <laughs> chipping, your left hand is higher than your right. I know. Right, yeah, yeah. I saw that. So that's why this hip needs to be a bit underneath and lower just to help get your arms swinging. Towards that. So I can't summarise in everything, it's left hip. Yeah. Left hip, left hip, left hip. Okay, if you can just go from today, one thing, just think, where's my left hip going to go? It needs to be pushed towards target, to target. Okay? okay? I just, you just get used to feeling this move, okay? And then when you open your stance up for a chip shot, I still want my shoulders and chest, because where they're aiming is where that ball's going to go. If they're aiming left, mate, it's just going to go left on you. And that's the big thing. So the hips, if the, if the hips go in that direction... Okay, you tend yeah. to open your hips up. Okay, yeah. the hips go in that direction. We square them up a bit more. Square them up. Yeah. So get that lead hip a bit further forward. Okay. Otherwise, swings looking good. There's some good fundamentals there. Getting that hip forward, get up your launch angle for your wedges to bring that launch angle down. Down. Yeah. It's more efficiency strike. Yeah. So all the things you get when the hips go to the right, unmentionables, hitting the ground a bit early, pulling, thinning, lofting up in the air. Sound familiar? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Good stuff, mate.